I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. This is a great way to get to know all the different scoring elements. So if you're new to the game and you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls. One for each wind of the round, starting with east. I'm going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in for that particular pull. If you haven't downloaded the player reference yet, look for a link below the video for this. In here are all the scoring elements and on the back is how to play the game. That might help because I'm going to refer to that during these exercises. There's my wind of the round indicator. This is going to be the pull for east round. East pull. Oops. I'm going to roll the dice to see which seat we're in. I rolled a six, two, four, six. So we're going to be in south seat. South seat, east round. Since we're non-dealer, I'll get 13 tiles. I forgot to say that there's a three fawn minimum. That's the norm for the groups I play with and for playing online at Mahjong time. So we have to come up with three fawn in this set of tiles. We have a two flower. We are in the second seat. So we're going to get a fawn for that. I'll get a replacement. White dragon. So here we have a pair, 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 mixed suits. I would push for all Pung. This is going to be a push too because we only have three pair. We're going to need to pair up two more times. And all Pung, all three of a kind, that's three Fawn. I think I would probably hold this for a while because any Pung of a dragon is worth a Fawn by itself. So between all Pung and the flower, that would be four fawn, which would qualify for a three fawn minimum. So pung here, pung here, and here, pair up any of these, hopefully this one, because that can bring score by itself and see what happens. Don't be tempted to chow, because if you mix suits, chows with pungs, that would be a chicken hand, no score. Unless, of course, you pair this up and pung it. But we only have a single, so that's a long shot. So that's what I would do here. All pung. Mixed suits is okay with all pung because all pung is three fawn. Let's go to south round. This time, we're going to say... We're going to be in west seat because I rolled a seven. West, that's three. West seat, south round. Non-dealer, 13 tiles. Mixed suits, single honors. I think what I would do here is play 13 orphans or half flesh with cracks and honors, sacrifice the ones. So we're in between, but I think I would start by discarding these. 
Half flush is when you have one suit with winds and dragons. These single honors, though, are not going to do any good with simples, which are one, or two through eight, tiles two through eight. So we would have to pair these up so that we could pung them. Unless we played 13 orphans. 13 orphans is a special hand. It's going to be on the player reference on the left side of the card. One of each honor, which are winds and dragons. So we have north, south, east. We need a west and a white dragon. Then we need ones and nines in each suit and then any tile paired. So we have eight tiles towards 13 orphans. Uh, that is a 10 fawn hand, very difficult to get. That's why I would have probably plan A and then that would be plan B if we get the other ones, nines, the west and the white. So with 13 orphans, one guideline that I have been told is if you have 10 tiles towards 13 orphans from the onset, go for it. So we're a little short. We have eight. So we're two tiles short. So I would just keep my eye on that. If cracks come in, I would play half flesh. If we get the ones and nines or the west and the white, I would keep pushing 13 orphans. Either way, we didn't use these, so we can discard those. Oh, and we have no flowers right now. That's a fawn all by itself. No flowers is one fawn. Half flesh is three. And then, of course, 13 orphans is 10. West round. I rolled a four. So this time we're going to be player four, which is north. So we're north seat non-dealer, so we'll get 13 tiles. We have a three flower, so we'll put that out. West round, so we're gonna get, wait a minute. Seat flower, own, own flower or season. We're in seat four, so we will not get score for that. So here we have Mick, oh, we needed a replacement tile. Oh, look, there's another flower. Okay, four. So we have three, four, four singles. This is going to be difficult. We do have lots of chow potential. There's chow potential there, there. These are isolated. There's chow potential here or here isolated and then of course single now this is our seat wind north we're in seat four that's north so that might help so I think let's see the only way to get to three fawn with this situation having three four and four single honors would be to maybe do all chow and hope for flowers because we can chow 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 mixed suits that would be one fawn and then if we get two of our own flowers that would help that would get us to three but there's only two of each player's flowers so the chances are pretty slim I might even play defense with this one and just try to get to the end of the game without anybody winning and do my best to discard safely and just play defense with these tiles. I suppose what we could do is discard our smallest suit, see which suit comes in, either cracks or bams, 
and then push for a half flush, which is three fawn. That would be another way to go. We could maybe even do a combination of defense and push half flush. That's probably what I would do because I don't like to lose. Okay, north round. I rolled a 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is player 2. Non dealer, 13 tiles. Mixed suits, one pair. We do have a flower. That's a number two flower. And we are in South Seat. So we have one fawn. We need to come up with two fawn in here. Oh, we got a crack. Okay, this is what I would do. Okay, what I would do here is discard these first. Play half flush. Hold this because if we pair up, we could play all pun and use it. If we draw in cracks and pair these up, sacrifice these and go for half flush. Here we have a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. There's actually a chow right here, six, seven, eight. But if we split that, we have two potential chows. So I think half flush is plan A. Hold that. If we pair up, play all pung, which is easier because you can call for discards from anybody. For chows, three in a sequence, you can only claim a discard from the player on your left. So discard these first. So half flush is three fawn own flower, so that would be four fawn. If we did all pung, which is a long shot because we only have one pair, that would also be four fawn. So I really think that half flesh is probably the better choice. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you learn all the scoring elements. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.